Hello students, welcome to the English class. Well students, we have started with on the face of it written by Suzanne Hill and uh, we have already done many pages explanation. In my last video, we have completed till that acid only burns your face and where Mr. this one says that you can burn yourself from inside Mr. Lamb says such so to Derry when Derry says that he hates people okay and Mr. Lamb says hating people means it will burn you from inside it is going to kill you from inside as a human being we have done till this much today we are going to continue from the next line right I hope students you have seen the previous video lecture then it would become very much easier for you to continue from here. Now Derry says, after I would come home, one person said, he would have been better off stopping in here. In the hospital, he would be better off with others like himself. She thinks blind people only ought to be with other blind people and idiot boys with idiot boys. Now, Derry says to Mr. Lamb that uh, when after that accident had occurred, when acid fell into his face and after that accident when he was admitted to the hospital and later on when he uh, returned back home, a woman came to visit him and uh, the woman told, uh, of course, maybe the mother of uh, Derry that um, it would have been better if Derry would have stayed back in the hospital okay because that way what will happen Derry would have been with uh, the other people like him okay so uh, it would have been better because Derry is now with the normal people and as a result Derry will face various kind of mental trauma now according to that lady who visited uh, the lady wanted to say that blind people should be with blind people and idiot boys should be with idiot boys okay so that is a very interesting kind of remark made by this uh, woman Mr. Lamb and people with no legs altogether. So Mr. Lamb then adds, yes, that, that means the people, those who have no legs, those are lame people, should be all with the lame people. Derry says, that's right. Mr. Lamb, what kind of a world would that be? Isn't it? So Mr. Lamb was very curious to know if such, if like kind of people, means physically liked people or physically alike people would all be together, then what kind of world it would be? Derry says, at least there would be nobody to stare at you because you weren't like them. So Derry says, in a way, it would have been better because then what will happen? People would not be staring at you because Derry is now facing that kind of thing. People are staring at him. They are commenting. They are remarking on his face. Okay. So Derry says that in that case, people would not stare at him. Okay, Mr. Lamb then says, so you think you are just the same as all the other people with burnt faces? Just by what you look like, ah, everything's different. Everything's the same, but everything is different itself. So Mr. Lamb says that, what does uh, Derry think? That all the people who are like Derry, they should be, they are equal. Means Derry is like the other people who are having burnt face. Now, Students, here is a something to ponder about. We need to think about here. Those people who look like together, are they all same? Isn't it? Are they all alike? Okay, a person of the same, like twins. If I say two, uh, if I say two boys, they are twins. Okay, now can we say that <coughs> both the boys are same? Yeah, physically they may be same. Uh, outward appearance they may be same. But as a person, are these two boys same? Or are those two people same who look so much similar or who have the same uh, problem or same physical disabilities? Of course not, isn't it? What makes a person? What makes a human being? It's not our outward appearance or it's not about our physical appearance that makes a person. It is what we are inside. It is our capability. It is our ability. That what we are, isn't it? We are not by what we look like. Okay? Our appearance is only a kind of what we can say of a visual illusion and nothing else okay we have to prove ourselves right as a proper human being as a good human being we need to prove ourselves through our abilities through our inner qualities and inner virtues okay our face or our physical appearance are not going to prove us ourselves to the world right and that is what Mr. Lamb says here. That is, everything's different, everything's the same, but everything is different. So everything looks so same, but everything is actually different. 
okay all people are different therefore when derry says that uh, people are just something uh, nothing that mr lamb says no every people is something okay all the people are something every people have their own identity all the people okay they have their individual emotions and feelings right how do you make out all that out so derry is asking mr lamb that how does mr lamb comes come to know all this thing okay what makes mr lamb to um, think of all this thing mr lamb says watching listening thinking okay watching listening thinking what exactly does this mean watching listening thinking it means introspection it means to see the world in different viewpoint right not through the viewpoint like everyone else see. just think the world in a different view viewpoint right okay now Derry says, I would like a place like this, a garden. I would like a house with no curtains. So Derry loves the place where Mr. Lamb actually stays. Okay, so he loves the place. And he says that he wants a house as big as like Mr. Lamb. Okay, a house where there would be no curtains. A house open to everyone. Mr. Lamb, the gates always open. So Mr. Lamb says the gates are always open. So anytime Derry can come and Derry can uh, visit the house or visit the gate, uh, visit the garden. Derry says, but this isn't mine. Derry is still thinking about trespassing. Okay, Derry knows that the house and the garden belongs to Mr. Lamb. So he cannot come directly or in this manner. So Derry says, but this uh, garden or this house does not belong to him. Mr. Lamb says, everything yours if you want it. What's mine is anybody's. Now, students, I have told you one day that in my last video class that at the end of the story, I am going to ask you about the identity of Mr. Lamb. Okay, that who this Mr. Lamb is in reality, right? So, actually, you can get the answer from this particular line. Everything's yours, yours if you want it. What's mine is anybody's. Okay, so that is the thing. Uh, Mr. Lamb says that everything is yours. Everything uh, belongs to everyone. The garden, the house, everything belongs to everyone. Okay, it's public, right? So Mr. Lamb says everything's uh, yours if you want it. What's mine is anybody. So there, Mr. Lamb does not believe in possessing the house or possessing the garden. Mr. Lamb feels that the house, the garden, everything belongs to the people. Derry, so I could come here again, even if we were out, I could come here. So Derry then asked that suppose Mr. Lamb is not there, then also Derry can come here. This line is also very important because at the end of the story, we will see that how this line comes so true. Okay, so Derry says that so if there is no one, if Mr. Lamb is not there in the house or in the garden, then also Derry can come into the house. And Mr. Lamb says, Certainly, you might find others here, of course. Oh, so Mr. Lamb says that of course you can come and you might by finding others here and Derry says oh what is the meaning of this oh here here Derry is again expressing his his negative attitude that he that he wants to avoid the people okay he does not want to come um, uh, to the near the people okay he tries to shun the society right so when mr lamb says that when derry will come and if he find he might find some other people derry says oh oh means oh then it's really useless coming here okay mr lamb well that needn't stop you you needn't mind so mr lamb says that that wouldn't stop you you should not mind people coming here people will come okay you should accept the people Derry, it would stop them. They would mind me. When they saw me here, they look at my face and run. So Derry says that it is not uh, that he is not going to um, accept the people. The people will not accept him. Okay. The people will mind because when they will see Derry, they will run away. Okay. They will not be able to, uh, able to see Derry because they will be afraid of Derry. Right. Mr. Lamb says, they might, they might not. You would have to take the risk, so would they. So Mr. Lamb says that they might run away, they might not run away. The risk is completely of dairy. So dairy have to, has to take the risk, okay? Dairy has to uh, experience the thing that whether people will accept him or not, that is the main thing. 
so if dairy takes the risk the people also need to take the risk okay if dairy is um, uh, saying that uh, if dairy is uh, accepting the people the people also needs to accept dairy so the risk lies in both the case dairy then says dairy then says no you would you might have me and lose all your other friends because nobody wants to stay near me if they can help it so when mr lamb says that the others have to take the risk and derry himself have to take the risk derry says the risk lies completely on mr lamb because the friends that Mr. Lamb had uh, made all these years, okay, in this garden, the people coming and visiting this garden, when dairy will come, all these people will run away. As a result, Mr. Lamb would become uh, lonely then, okay, because Mr. Lamb will lose all his friends because then by seeing dairy, no one would visit the garden, no one would come and have a talk with him, either the children or um, the elder people, okay. So dairy says that it is not that dairy will lose, okay, it is that Mr. Lamb would lose. You might have me and lose your other friends. So, Derry says that in lieu of Derry, he, Mr. Lamb is going to lose the other people because nobody wants to stay near me if they can help it. Derry still feels that people are avoiding him. Okay, so Derry knows that he also avoids people, but Derry also feels that people are avoiding him. So, as a result, with the acceptance of Derry in Mr. Lamb's life, Mr. Lamb is going to lose the hundreds of friends that he had made in his life. Mr. Lamb then says, I have not moved okay so that will not change okay mr lamb says that losing the friends will not change mr lamb's stance okay that where mr lamb is right that will remain as it is students i have explained till this much today okay that is near me if they can help it now in return of this what is Mr. Lamb's reply? How he is going to change the perspective of dairy? How he is going to change the viewpoint of dairy? Okay, that we will see. We have already seen that dairy has more or less transformed. Okay, but few more brushing up is required. Okay, and that we will see very soon it is coming where Mr. Lamb will completely uh, or we can say will be uh, successful, okay, in uh, completely changing Derry's viewpoint and how Derry would leave his old ways of life and enter the garden of Mr. Lamb and uh, accept the new form of life that he is going to have in front of him, okay. So, students, please go through the video lecture, okay? Uh, read the chapter thoroughly till how much I have uh, explained today. If there is any doubt, please uh, clear your doubts in the classroom. Thank you, students. Study well.